fall when the leaves are off this is the time I, I prune the, uh, the tree back so in the summertime everything just grows it just grows out as far as it wants to and what the idea behind that is to help thicken the branches and get uh, development on the branches you're going to maintain and then for example if this branch is one that I want to uh, develop in the future uh, so we went close to the trunk so I will just slide my pruners down uh, to the, the viable branch here and cut and what I do is I leave a stub the same diameter as the branch I'm cutting and the reason being is when this is being fed from the from the trunk line and the roots it doesn't have to go around an injury to support uh, this particular branch here uh, so the stub stays for a year it dries back and then uh, the following year I can go with a tool and, and clean off the stub you know, for aesthetics uh, so that's that's how the development is uh, um, uh, someone in Germany his name's uh, Walter Paul he does this hedge pruning which means he does doesn't even look at the tree and he, had, he prunes the top <laughs> in the middle of the summer of his broadleaf trees and then goes in and details later on and because he has so many trees this is an effective way but if you have a few trees then individual cutting uh, especially on the top uh, in the summertime but this is after the tree is established i understand this tree was just uh, harvested uh, this year and put into a loose type soil that still holds a little moisture and uh, you should do light feeding uh, right after right after harvest uh, with that. Do not be in the game of trying to reduce the, the leaf size just before it dies. Okay, so leave the leaf uh, leave the leaf leave the leaf alone, <laughs> and uh, uh, just develop the tree and the branching and so on. When they're younger, they are more flexible, so you you can get some flex. Uh, uh, flexibility out of the tree uh, you, instead of wiring a lot of times just cabling branches down in the position is a good idea so a plastic pot maybe with some holes drilled for drainage and oxygen aeration in there be a good idea um, but uh, pick out your branches in the winter when the leaves are off cut the ones you don't want to work with uh, examine your dead wood. This was cut back here, died back to this branch, for example. But this, because it has a beautiful base here and lots of holes and uh, lots of creative uh, uh, energy in, in the dead wood, some of this might be start the theme of other dead wood uh, in other parts of the tree. We haven't looked at this for design, but uh, right now we just want to keep it happy and healthy. Um, the other thing is on this tree, it has some spots, and that's a fungal. Uh, problem and uh, this might be cedar apple rust um, as one possibility and if you have juniper in your area uh, you might want to keep this away from the juniper so this is not uh, going on to uh, plants that are susceptible to that but this is some kind of fungus uh, that's going on so I would research that out with your uh, maybe county extension if you have one here in Ohio and uh, get them to uh, <coughs> Uh, tell you exactly what this is and then they can uh, give you the remedy for taking care of that it's not a it's not a something that uh, it's going to say this plant's going to die from this but of course you don't want uh, uh, items on, on your plant that are going to restrict uh, healthy growth all right and with the dead wood uh, what I what I do with dead wood is I try to clean that out Sometimes they work the uh, bark out, see if this is pulpy wood or not. This part is pulpy. This is kind of solid here, okay? But to keep it uh, from decaying more, I clean this out. Uh, it's a good winter project sometimes when you're too busy doing other things in the summer and the spring. Uh, but clean it out, and then we treat it with a product called PC Hardener. And PC Hardener is a uh, water-soluble wood hardener and um, you paint it on usually in the hottest day of the summer and uh, the dead wood absorbs this into it. it's uh, uh, the core of the wood itself and uh, uh, it preserves the wood and extends the life of the dead wood.